I finally switched from Premiere to DaVinci. And the main reason is the monthly subscription that you have to pay for Premiere and DaVinci Resolve is actually free. So it was a good thing to switch. It took me a while, but I finally switched. But I still got some choppy playback in the videos. So when I edit stuff, it went a little bit slow and I actually didn't know what to do. I watched some YouTube videos and most of the things didn't even work out. I have a MacBook 2019, like the basic model, 16 gigs of RAM. And I thought this should be enough for DaVinci, but first it didn't. But then I changed something in DaVinci and it works super fast now. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to change to get these fast results. All right, let's go into DaVinci Resolve. So this is a video that I shot and I'm editing this and it was really slow first and now I can just play back this quite normally. Now, the first thing you want to change here is the timeline proxy resolution. Usually this will be at full, you just go to quarter and it will show the video a bit less quality, but when you export it, it will be normal quality like you created. That's the first thing I did. Then another thing that you want to change is go to the here, to the project settings and here you can have the timeline resolution. If you have 4K video like mine, I changed this to 1920 by 1080. You can even go lower like 1280 by 720. And this way your timeline resolution will change. But when you're done with the whole editing, you can switch it back to 4K or whatever you want and you can export that. And that way you are working in a low resolution. But when you export this, it's going to be high resolution. So it's really cool feature from DaVinci that you can switch between these resolutions just to work faster and later export in high resolution. Now, the biggest thing that made the change for me to get these faster results is to make proxy media. So in the media pool, I have all these videos that I have from this project. And I did these changes before, but it still was quite choppy when I edited it. But then I noticed that if you change your media files to proxy media, you get really fast results. The only downside is you have to wait a little bit to generate these proxy medias. But once they are done, you can easily edit your whole video without choppy playback. So select all the videos that you have from your timeline that you want to edit or that are in your project, of course, and then just right mouse and create on generate proxy media. And this will make your video playback really fast. So that did it for me. I hope it will do it for you. So thanks for watching this video and make sure to create some awesome videos.